All right, so this one over here, you could use the quotient rule on it. What I would do first, I would probably simplify the problem. In other words, it's a monomial divisor. It's easy to divide by that. What are you going to get? x squared plus 8x. And this is going to be plus 5. And that's tough, but it's, you know, x minus 1 minus another one, minus 2. By the way, x cannot be equal to 0. Can I get this guy's derivative? It's really simple. What do you get there? 2x, that's pretty simple, plus 8 minus 10x to the minus 3. Now, certainly if someone says find the derivative, that is the derivative, by the way, right over here. Again, I want to simplify it. And let me write it over for you. I don't like the negative exponent. I'm going to common denominator. What do you get there? 2x4 plus 8x cubed minus 10. This is also a simple form of it. Again, you may have disagreements about what simple means. Simple for most people means that it's in a form that we can, um, we can e easily analyze. Let me take a look at the key, though, see how we did. Did I get this thing over here? 2x. Oh, I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry. That was this over here. I made a mistake there. So x squared plus 8x. Oh, yeah, we got that. Was able to get the derivative. Let's take a look at it. 2x plus 8 minus 10. x minus 3, yes. Did I simplify it correctly? Let's take a look at it. 2x4, 8x cubed. Yeah, it looks great. Whoops, maybe not so great. I put a 4 there, not 4. It's 3. Let me get my eraser. And again, take advantage of the answer keys. What I mean by that, you're going to learn by looking at an answer key, particularly if you're careful about what you're looking at, you know, the kind of mistakes that you might make. All right? Thank you.